little warriors Changing our world day by day The way of the crypto warriors Can't rely on the bank, there's no way Good morning, good morning, Big Square. Road to Road.com with your morning horn of Z's, your sip of Chaga Kavi. Um, so much going on. Um, I had a, another thought about the in game. Oh, by the way, if you're a YouTuber and you wear glasses, here's a little trick from my buddy Josh. If you hold them straight, you get the light on them. If you tilt them down, you get no light. <laughs> there you go, YouTubers. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I gave out the wrong phone number again for the 90th time for perpetual acid. If you want to call Will Lair at Perpetual Assets to do a rollover of your IRA, now is the time because I think we're going to get into chaos in September. It takes like a month to do. Get the total thing in your own possession. Assets in your own possession. I'm going to tell you why in a second. Go to PerpetualAssets.com. The phone number is 888-281-2630. 888-281-2630. Um, and also, if you need cryptos in your portfolio, you need cryptos and you need gold and silver badly. Not so much gold. Silver, definitely. Definitely. If you want to participate in the future of America, get yourself some gold and silver. Your government's going to give you some. Some gold. They're not going to give you any silver. The government's going to give you all some gold. A lot of it. So I'd say, yeah, I think you're all right on gold. Silver, they're not going to give it to you. Here's the end game. Here's my take on the end game. Oh, by the way, also, Petrol Assets, if you're going to buy over 10 grand in crypto, they're going to help you out. Hit uh, the crypto and fill out the application uh, right here. Hit the application. They did it all by the book for the United States. Got all the licenses they need, all the approvals they need to buy cryptos for you. And then they help you stick it in a wallet and you can sleep safely knowing that our future is a crypto economy. Our monetary system is probably going to be gold-based in the United States. That's my take. Gold and the government also has Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash from Satoshi. So that's my take. And now is the end game. I've been thinking a lot about it. Gold and silver up. Gold, uh, first time silver's or gold's been up over nineteen hundred bucks. Silver is still less than half of its all-time highs. Still massively manipulated. At some point, silver and gold will go one to one, one to one. So if you think gold's going to go up, silver will go up, what, 70, 80 times that. I'm not joshing you. Why? Because there's equal amounts of each. There's 6 billion ounces of silver and 6 billion ounces of gold, and both have been massively manipulated. Well, that's above ground. The Actually, for, for gold, it's not 6 billion ounces. It's not. It's like 100 times that. Wait, no. Sorry, 10 times that. It's about 60 billion ounces. Which is 2 million ounces of physical gold out there circulating above ground now in refined form. Just hidden from you. In the ground, there's a hell of a lot more gold. But all that will get sorted out. So silver, if you like gold, silver is, is on steroids as far as supply and demand. And it's really hard to get silver right now. Premiums are off the charts. But here's the end game. I think the banks know what end game I'm talking about. And I had this thought this morning. That's when my best thoughts come when I wake up. The banks are doing exactly what you and I are doing. They're getting their assets in physical possession. JP Morgan did it. Now they're all going in. All the metals are going into the ETFs, if you notice that. ETF metal is going through the roof, silver, gold through the roof. Now you might say, well, so what? You know, that's the people who control the metal in ETFs like SLV. It's all the shareholders of SLV. No, it is not. Not a chance. Try to cash in your one share of SLV for one ounce of silver. You can't do it. And I do see the mother of all crashes coming. So what happens to all these Robin Hood investors investing in SLV thinking they own silver? No. The big banks own it. The authorized participants are allowed to remove that silver. You are not. So what happens if the banks are loading up on physical silver, putting it in <coughs> SLV, GLD, and all the ETFs? 
when the system falls apart, it's whoever has the metal in their own possession, and the banks are included in that. So the big bullion banks, what are they doing? They're getting as much physical access as possible. The warehouses are brimming with gold and silver. In dollar terms, oh my God, the amount of gold that's gone into the ETFs and the warehouses is shocking, shocking compared to silver. That's where the banks are going to get their metal. When this system falls apart, JP Morgan is not going to be belly up. They own, what was it, Ted was saying, 25 million ounces of physical silver that they've pulled off. They'll be the richest bank in the world. Yes, a lot of their ETFs and a lot of their functioning will crash and burn, but they'll make up for it all with $100,000, $200,000 gold. That's how valuable physical possession of gold and how important it is. Gold and silver in your own possession will be valued completely differently than the COMEX, the LBMA, the SLV. Even mining shares. Mining shares will all get nationalized. The Fed even said it in, well, they said, we don't know. Should we do it? In the Road to Ruta Teacher's Guide. Should we, should the government take over the mines is what they say. Or should they have private enterprises or share the mining of all those massive amounts of gold? Do you know how much land in the United States is in national parks now? 41% of California is owned by the federal government. And has been locked away there. Diane Feinstein locked up all of Southern California gold mining area in a desert wildlife preserve. Alaska. Massive amounts of oil in Alaska in the Anwar province. It's just brimming with oil. All locked up. That's what the United States has been doing since the 1920s. You find something big, you lock it up, allow the world to take your fiat money. And the end game, and the banks know this probably from Road to Ruta, the end game is whoever is holding the metal, whoever is holding the resource. They can't hold oil very well, but they can hold gold and silver, the real thing, while they're shorting the comics and shorting the L LBMA. It's just an association. It's all rigged anyway. Why do you think these massive vaults are in England of gold? Because they know it. when the music stops playing, it's whoever's holding the gold, whoever's holding the silver, who's ever holding the cryptos. So when the crash comes, and it will come, and wipe out everything, the system will get rebooted by gold, silver, and cryptos. I hope this makes sense to everybody, because it's not only Road to Ruta people who are getting their assets in their own possession. It's the banks. The big bullion banks who know what's about to happen are getting gold and silver in their own possession. Probably cryptos as well. I think that's what BACT was all about. Don't don't buy into the back bullshit. That's the the bad guys cabal. And it all falls apart. They're gonna have to restart the system. And who's got all the all the wealth? The big bullion banks who are holding the physical metal. And you and me, who are smart enough to hold your assets in your own possession. <clears throat> Stocks, bonds, forget about it. Retirement accounts, forget about it, except for the gold. Like Fidelity is huge into gold. Physical gold. CalPERS, that retirement, uh, the, the California retirement thing, owns massive amounts of land, gold-rich land down in Southern California. But get, at the end of the day, when the music stops, I've been saying it all along, everything paper will be, as Nostradamus says, imitations of gold and silver will be tossed into the lake. We're coming to the point of Nostradamus. Within the next few months, Nostradamus's prediction will come true. Imitations of gold and silver will be tossed into the lake. What, what value do you put on the real thing? Is there a limit to how high gold and silver prices can go in dollar terms? Not really. They've printed infinity, infinity money behind the scenes. Even not behind the scenes, gold and silver should be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars per coin if you have it in your own possession. Get it in your own possession. Here's what happened yesterday on the comics. Another massive day of volume. Another, oh, I haven't even looked yet. Let's take a look at the open interest. It was 184. Open interest only goes up 762 contracts. So we have literally over a billion ounces of electronic silver on the comics yesterday. This is the biggest comics week in the history of the world, bar none in silver volume. 
but nothing is changing as far as open interest. These are all electronic high frequency trades trading back and forth to set the price. I did the numbers in the last four days. Four days, we have 7,000. Uh, 7,057, sorry, 757,793 contracts. Unheard of. Unheard of. In the last four days, which is, I, I've been using my little calculator here. <laughs> I love this thing. Makes me feel official. Which, <laughs> listen to this. 3.789. So basically 3.8 billion ounces of electronic silver were traded on the comics in the last four days. How much money is worth of comics times $22 an ounce is da, 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 $83 billion worth of trades happened in the last four days. There, why not call it 84 trillion or 84 quadrillion? It doesn't matter in that world. In the world of unbacked fiat, Fiat derivatized gold and silver. There is no limit on the amount of money because money is a fiction of your imagination. Money is a faith game. That's all it is. And behind the scenes, the Fed is printed, has printed infinity money. And the, the big bullion banks know this. So they're playing the game. They're getting all these idiots to invest in on, on uh, Robin Hood to invest in gold and silver to destroy them. They're going to crash SLV. They're going to crash the markets. And it's whoever's holding the metal when the music stops playing and wash away all their sins with a market crash. All their sins with them. People keep asking me, why would the bankers you know, want the system to crash? They'll keep bringing it forever. No, they have so many sins they need to wash away. How do they wash it away? A creative destruction event that Alan Greenspan talked about. The end game is a creative destruction of men, meaning all markets just freeze and crash and go to zero. Faith and confidence. And then it's whoever's holding the stuff. JP Morgan, 25 million ounces of gold. Let's do the math. 25 million times. That's how much they, Ted Butler believes they hold in the. In the warehouse, 1900 J.P. Morgan is currently sitting with $47.5 billion with the gold valued at $1,900. What happens when it goes to $19,000? That would be $470 billion. What happens if it goes to $119,000? That's four point seven billion. Do you think J.P. Morgan can get out of their crashing of all their customers and all that with just their gold holdings? And what about their silver holdings? One to one relationship, gold to silver. It's coming. Why? Because the the world tells us there's six billion ounces of each. The problem is the world is is running into a problem with all the lies that they've told over over the years. Here's one of the problems. As long as I've been invested in, in gold and silver, which is the last 20 years, 20 plus years, the gold and, and U.S. dollar ratio was completely out of whack. They should have an inverse relationship. The more worthless the dollar gets, the more valuable gold gets. But it hasn't been that way. With the market rigging, they, who was it? Who was that? Uh, Mike Bolster. Bolster? The GATA guy who figured out the computer program that Alan Greenspan had rigged to control the U.S. dollar versus the price of gold. So as the U.S. dollar went down, the gold was going down with it, which made no sense. As of 2000, beginning of 2019, look at this. Gold and the U.S. dollar have been doing what they're supposed to do. Inverse relationship. That was the end. This end game has been going on for a long time and will culminate very soon. <clears throat> From Zero Hedge, gold tops $1,900 for the first time. Da, da, da. It's still rigged, remember that. But I want to show you a couple graphs I think are really good. First of all, there's spot gold since 2011. You know, if you go back to 2000 or 1980, 
1980, the old high was $50. Oh, sorry, for gold, the old high was 800 So yes, gold since 1980 has more than doubled about one and a half times, whereas silver is a less than half of its 1980 high and 2011 high. Both are rigged, but rigged silver is way more important to keep a lid on than gold. I hope everybody recognizes. And but check this out, silver is rising too, but but less for now, stabilizing after its breathless surge this week. Silver is stabilizing, meaning what are we gonna are we gonna create a base in silver at twenty two, a launch pad at twenty two? I don't know. Silver gold ratio is creeping higher. Look at the silver gold ratio is right now at eighty three to one. It should be at a minimum, at a minimum eight to one. That's what's in the ground. Above ground, it's one to one. And I don't see anybody finding a hell of a lot of silver around there. I know there's some hidden somewhere. There's mines in the U.S., a company called Mines Management, with a huge amount of silver that hasn't been able to get the permits. It's so ridiculous. They're just waiting, 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 waiting. But it's not enough. Gold, there's massive amounts of gold. But they're both rigged. It's a game, my friends. Gold bugs crack me up. All right, here's... This is actually their beautiful dollar bills. This is the gold back, goldback.com. Uh, gold that has been etched into bills, beautiful bills. For the artwork I pay for. For the use as currency, give me a break. <laughs> it's like it's like buying silverware for the silver content and paying a hell of a lot more for the art and the silverware. If you melt down these these pieces of paper. If you melt them down, how much gold will you get? Not much. But they are absolutely beautiful. Uh, for a novelty item, I love it. For his use of currency, come on, get real. Gold gold bugs are funny. They're like, we got to do something to keep up with the usability factor of cryptos. Oh, that's crazy. Do a, do, what did the Fed say in there? Or the picture of a little girl cashing in 19 gold coins at the... At the bank? Why not use real gold? These guys are using real gold, but they're etching it into this these bills that they think are going to be used as money. I don't think they think. I mean, it's just a novelty. It's kind of cool, though. But gold bugs are like, no, gold standard, no way cryptos will ever get used. You can't use gold in, in commerce. I'm sorry. It doesn't work that way. Oh, well, we can back it with a fiat, uh, you know, a, a gold back U.S. dollar. No. Faith and trust will be lost. No one would trust unless it was fully redeemable like the Fed says it's going to be. Who knows? Could be anything. I think a Fed coin will come. And yeah, every country has the right to create their own money for their citizens. They can give everybody, after everything crashes, they can give everybody a Fed coin. It's not going to take the place of other alternatives. They can't stop Bitcoin. They can't stop Litecoin. And I don't think they want to. If the good guys win, they don't want to. If the bad guys win, they want to go on the crypto standard because they have a hell of a lot of it. To the crypto cabal. Da, 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 da. Uh, one thing, the... Uh, here, uh, where is this? There it is. CNN's jumping for joy because uh, the $600 unemployment benefits uh, are going to expire today. Of course, CNN's like, yes, this will get Trump out. That's all they care about. Why? Because they'll all go to jail. Their little pedal ring would end. <laughs> CNN is huge into that. Huge. They all got their red shoes. <laughs> Scary. Um, eviction moratorium expires today. It, don't look to Congress to, to renew any of these programs. Why? Now is the crunch time for the Democrats. They got to destroy everything come election time. That's their only hope of getting uh, weakened at Bernie's um, Joe Biden in there. Joe Biden can't even speak. You know, a lot of people are saying, well, they're just going to swap him out at, at, at the last minute. Fine, swap out. Who, well, who are you going to put there? Michael Obama? I mean, Michelle Obama? No. You don't think Trump has the dirt on everybody who might run against him, and at the last second he could pull that dirt out? He does. He's got handle of the NSA that has your, everybody's communications. So if you've done anything bad, he knows about it. 
Crazy world we're living in, my friends. So, uh, right now, any way you look at it, people can have less money after today. The the uh, the thing that the the Republicans are trying to get through, six hundred dollar in extra unemployment would fall to two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars a week under Mnuchin's plan. Whatever it is, if there is anything given, if they can agree on anything in Congress, which I think the RV uh, crypto viewing guys data says, no, they're gonna they vote on something and it's not gonna pass, and that's when. Dick Allgaier and friends say, oh my God, Congress is coming out of Congress, shocked in disbelief. Who knows? And the world could end tomorrow too, if you listen to Snippy and the, the asteroids coming on the planet. <laughs> I, do, I do think there's some truth to that. I think we're going to do, we're going to have some uh, earth changes and you know, all the psychics are saying it. It feels like yeah, we haven't had any... When was the last time a, a catastrophic asteroid hit the planet? You, don't, you can't even remember. Now, I've seen some shit in my day. And those of you on the road to Ruder for a long time know that I was up at my dad's vineyard and in the middle of the night, pitch black with some friends, and all of a sudden the whole sky lit up. A huge explosion of light. Literally lit up the valley for 10, 20 seconds. I'm like, what the hell was that? And you're kind of blinded. It's like pitch black to pure light. And I don't know why, but I had my night vision goggles right there. I pull out the night vision goggles after it got dark again, a couple, couple like 10, 20 seconds later. I look up in the sky. There's a trail of smoke coming in like this. Something cut it off. Something intercepted it. And then it went that way. A V-shaped that way. I'm not worried that the world's going to die. I'm not worried. I believe we're being protected. And I saw it with my own eyes. Something was coming in huge with a trail of smoke. Something hit it. It exploded, lit up the night sky, and shot up the other way. It didn't just stop and explode there. It shot off the other way. And I could see the smoke trail coming in, the big smoke explosion, and then the smoke trail going out. We are being protected. Don't lose your shit about incoming asteroids. They'll probably let some come in just to show us how vulnerable we are. But I believe we are being protected, absolutely. And we are all going to die. I hate it to break it to you. But you've been living in the end time since the day you were born. My buddy woo-woo friend loves to say that. Woo-woo dude. <laughs> you've been living in the end time since the day you were born. You are going to die and you're going to go back to spirit and say, hey, I'm going to have a life review and check out how I did down here. So many opportunities to do great things. So that's what you need to do. Go out there and do great things while we're here. Time is short. There's lots of ways to work off some karma, experience new things. And I do think when we get past this rough patch, we will have the thousand years of, of wonderful time. Wonderful times ahead. Secret technology is going to be released. All kinds of things coming out. I'm very excited about the future. I hope you guys are too. Anyway, this is Big Swear of RoadToRuda.com. If you want to subscribe to Road to Ruta, go to RoadToRuda.com. Right there at the top. Hit subscribe today. Oh, by the way, sign up for the free public road updates. You'll get emails. YouTube is blocking pretty much everything. I, I do think there's going to be a YouTube purge before election time. Anybody they don't like. They'll, they'll blame it on COVID. Anybody they don't like as far as promoting uh, anti-vax type stuff or um, anything anti-democratic party, um, they're going to they're gonna blame COVID and just purge. There's going to be a huge purge of uh, YouTube um, product providers. What do they call us? <laughs> There's a name for it. So if, you, if you're on YouTube and that's what you do for a living, you better have a backup. I have a backup. You can always go to RoadToRuta.com and find the video I just put out, all kinds of articles. I will be, I have archived all my videos, thank God, off-site. They're all archived. They're not on my channel. I, get, I would do that if need be, and I will. All my videos are archived because I know that they're going to erase history. They're already doing it with statues. They're going to do it with YouTube videos. 
They don't want this information out. Anyway, hit subscribe today at RoadToRear.com. I will send you 100 Theta and 100 Theta Fuel already loaded on a paper wallet so you don't have to worry about when Binance crashes and when Coinbase crashes and when Kraken crashes and all those exchanges, criminal exchanges go away. You'll have the crypto in your own possession. And then after the crash, we start fresh with a sound base and a sound system. That's the story on the road to Rita. I'll talk to you guys later.